Hello and welcome back, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa in the 180SX on Fujimi Kaido to do something a little bit different today. Today we're starting off in a cinematic or replay angle and then we're going to be getting into the driving in full wheel cam in first person only. So the amount of comments and stuff I get and messages I get about saying why I drift in third person is astronomical. It's crazy to me because I do it, you know, for the good view of you know the full game so today it's all about that first person we're gonna be taking the 180 through Fujimi Kaido in first person with the neck function going so you guys are watching basically the replay of the run I did prior to doing this intro and then we're gonna get into the actual gameplay of in first person with the full wheel and pedal cam so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all of which are found in the description box below i will leave the link to the car down in the description box below as well if you guys do not have my 180 missile car one of my favorite cars so we're just enjoying the scenery and the view of the 180sx ripping through fujimi kaido and it's definitely a fun track and a fun car i had a lot of fun you know ripping this car through all kinds of tracks but you know throwing it up for you guys you guys have been asking so much about first person so here it is going to be doing some more first person content if you guys want to see it as well as vr content and unfortunately the camera gets a little bit weird oh oh wow that's really loud from the water rip headphone users for that water oof we're gonna turn the water down a little bit for you guys that's 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 loud Unfortunately, a problem with the replay angle of some of these tracks. So we'll bring back the audio a little bit to get some more of the car going. So, like I said, starting it off a little bit different. A little commentary on a replay of the run you're going to see in full gameplay. So if you guys like this style of video where I do the runs in, say, first person, or tandems in first person but show you guys the replay angles or the overhead angles prior to seeing the actual in-car work with the real head motion the neck function or my oculus and all the wheel movements on my wheel cam let me know down below we could start a new style of video for drifting if you guys want to see it this way i know it gives you a different aspect of a couple different things that's so loud it gives you guys a couple aspects of a couple different things of seeing it in third person, overhead, replay angles and such, and then getting full into seeing it in full how I recorded and how I did the driving. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. Let's get to the actual driving so you guys can see footwork, handwork, and everything. Let's get to it. Time to go full send. We got all of our little interior lights on and everything. My favorite missile car that I have built is my 180. Definitely one of my favorite cars. So this is gonna be pure, like I said in the beginning, all first person here on Fujimi Kaido, new downhill. Didn't left foot break that one at the right moment, but we're good. So we don't go through the barrier. Get ever so close to the wall. We got this. So like I said, this 180SX is probably one of my favorite cars out of the missile car pack. It's definitely a fun, fun car to throw around. 
you guys don't have it, I will leave it in the description box below for you guys to download. The 180 yourself, a little bit of wall tap. We're good. We saved it. Right on the wall. So this is so I could stop getting so much hate about being in third person in my videos. So if you guys like this more than being able to see everything on the outside of the car and how close I am to walls and things of that nature, let me know down in the comment section down below because, you know, I keep getting the amount of comments I get is insane about being in third person for my videos. There we go. We're getting the flow of Fujimi Kaido in this 180. Definitely a track that I know almost with the back of my hand. Definitely feel like I should be running this car, this course at night with this car with all the cool accent lights and everything in this car. Ooh, we almost biffed it there though. Really long, dirty Forza e brake grab. We can do it. Hairpin section. Oh, we were on the wall there. Felt the car uh, stop rotating. Neck function working overtime right now. Doing a pretty good, good, pretty good, you know, rotation on this track. I think I may uh, bust out the Rift S and uh, throw this course in VR as well. Definitely a very fun track. Ooh, locked up the fronts. Saw that puff of smoke from the front. Felt the car get really loose on the wheel. Managing those bumps, we got this. A lot of clutch kicks with the 180. Probably could have not let you break that. Really close to the walls. Running almost a toge style quick grip turn. Oh, we locked it up. That's gonna hurt. Got a little bit too heavy on the brakes. Caused me to uh, rip it into the wall. And that's why my car doesn't have a bumper on that corner. We got it. Whew. Just, I could see the shrubbery from the back bumper going through the car in some of these sections. Go, we got this. Definitely feeling the super flow of the 180 right now. Oh, I missed the turn. I screwed up. We went airborne. Oh, ow. So that uh, that definitely hurt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A little bit different for you guys today. Starting off with the you know, replay angle and going into the full first person. So let me know what you guys think about this and. Let me know what you guys think of the car. I've lost apparently all my lights when we smacked the wall. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.